Leandro Trossard has been vital for Arsenal this season, especially after having no Martin Odegaard. And with each passing game, Leandro Trossard just keeps getting better and is becoming somewhat of a cult hero with Arsenal. When we saw our captain in the heartbeat of our team in Martin Odegaard limp off during a Nations League game between Norway and Austria, us Arsenal fans were very right to panic. His ankle injury looked really bad and as it turned out, it really was. And all of this happened right before huge games against the likes of Spurs, Manchester City and PSG. But here's the thing, we adapted very quickly without Martin Odegaard, still having yet to lose a game this season in all competitions and a huge reason for that adaptation well that is Leandro Trossard but just what made Leandro Trossard so good and so effective for Arsenal and how is he actually impacting the team well that's what we'll be talking about today so what's going on everyone you're listening to Gunner Central here I hope you're all doing well please be sure to like the video subscribe if you guys haven't already and let's get into it Odegaard's injury could have been a huge blow and maybe even last season it would have been but Arteta's Arsenal has evolved instead of relying on a direct replacement for our captain, the team has shifted into a kind of new dynamic style. It's not a secret to anyone that Odegaard is irreplaceable, especially with how we play. No one at the club can do what he does. To be able to dictate the tempo the way he does, press from the front, create magic out of nowhere, have crucial assists, lead the team, no one can replicate what Odegaard does. Even someone like Ethan Winieri, who is showing promise and maybe in a couple of years may be able to do what Odegaard does, but Ethan Winieri right now is nowhere near Odegaard's level. So we were in an issue. So how did Arteta and Arsenal come up with a solution? Well, the solution was the Android Trossard. Trossard has stepped up big time. While Trossard is not playing in Odegaard's exact role in terms of being a strict number 10, a kind of playmaker midfielder, Leandro Trossard has become a key player and a key piece in Arsenal's new look attack and it's been working very well. We're now seeing a flexible kind of 4-2-4 shape in possession instead of a strict 4-3-3 and in this shape we have Trossard and Kai Havertz kind of operate as both false nines with both of them constantly interchanging. One playing higher up as a pure striker while one kind of sits in the 10. They have no fixed positions between between those two, both of them dropping deep to overload central areas and allow players to drift out wide to exploit spaces. And although for the most part, Havertz does stay up top more so than Trossard does, and the interchange is more Trossard staying in the 10 and Havertz staying up top, it is a fluid system and both Kai Havertz and Trossard have been thriving in it. Now, it doesn't take a genius to know that Trossard is by no means the level of a playmaker that someone like Odegaard is, but Trossard is one clutch player. We've seen him score crucial goals time and time again. I mean, you remember the dramatic win we just had against Leicester City? He scored one and forced his own goals to secure the victory. He's always in the right place at the right time. His goal scoring instincts and ability to create chances make him an essential part of this new Arsenal style, especially in moments when the team needs a hero. I know he has only scored two goals and got one assist in nine games this season for Arsenal. So if you weren't watching Arsenal, you would think that's no big deal Trossard isn't that important but both of those goals were absolutely crucial obviously one of them to come against Leicester City but another goal came against Aston Villa who was his first touch after coming on away at Villa Park with the game deadlock that is clutch and while Trossard can't replicate what Odegaard does on the ball off the ball especially defensively Trossard more than does his part he does make some boneheaded challenges and things I mean you think about the red card against Man City even though it's unjustified but he does make some boneheaded decisions but defensively Trossard really really does put in a lot of effort which is something awesome to see because this Arsenal team we have so many talented players and a lot of them could just be passengers off the ball but really none of them really are passengers they're all putting their work defensively and that is something that Arteta and Edu have harped on that they want players that will do anything for the badge and right now all the players we have including Trossard are those players from Trossard's stunning goal against Bayern Munich to his dagger against Liverpool last season Trossard has been since we signed him really has been a key figure in Arsenal's recent success and at 29 years old, I can't believe that we only got Leandro Trossard for a quarter of the price that we would have had to pay for someone like Mikhailo Mudrik. Trossard, who is someone four times the player of Mudrik, I can't believe we got him for a quarter of the price. At 29 years old, Trossard is here to play a pivotal role. And if Arsenal bring any trophies back to the Emirates this season, which fingers crossed, I'm hoping we should do by now. But if we do, I have no doubt in my mind that Trossard will be a huge reason why we get those trophies. So while we all want to see Martin Odegaard back on the pitch, because let's be honest, even with Trossard there, no one will replicate Odegaard in terms of what he brings to us and 
and his leadership that he brings to us. So while we're all waiting for that, I'm sure it will happen soon after the international break. If it doesn't, us Arsenal fans can kind of rest easy knowing we have a player like Leandro Trossard who has proven that he knows when to step up when needed. He's proven to be one of Arteta's most trusted men and his impact could be the key reason for Arsenal's success this season. Let me know in the comments below how important do you think Trossard has been to Arsenal and do you think he can lead us to some silverware this season?